Hey everybody, how's it going? Some people asking me some questions. How do you set up a cylinder in one of these mini lays? I'm going to show you some of the things that are involved. Um, I'm going to show you what they don't show you on camera, indicating the part in. That might be a little time consuming. Sometimes you get it right in, sometimes you don't. Show you two methods tailpipe expander and with one of these sockets that I use. Okay. Because I don't have material. Material out my way is pretty pricey, so that's what you got to use. I also had a question: the 372 cylinder. See these lips? After they machine the cylinder, they're too long. Okay. You do these about four hundred thousandths long from the base of the cylinder to the top of this. Okay. Let's measure it up. Yeah, roughly about 400 thousandths long. Should be good enough. It's on a 372. Now first I'm going to show you indicating. You got to do this knob, you got to take this knob off and uh, use this as your handle. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, let's get this cylinder set up. Okay, let's see here. You stick a piece of plastic in there, like the kind of plastic you get from uh, your cylinders when they ship them to you. Let's see. Let's see. This might go right in, it may not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. Okay, here we go, let's see, now for the tail stock, you get a nut, put on the end of your uh, center, let's go like this, Okay, not a little bit. Sometimes I can rock it in sometimes. Sometimes. Socket has it, there's like a deviation on this side. I got a little blue mark here. So let's see here. This Okay. Okay. I'm going to do the two points first. Okay. Best case scenario, like when you have something with, you put marker on it, it's fading right here. That's deviation mark. I don't know if you can see that. See if I can zoom in for you a little bit. There's like a divot in the socket the way it's made. So I'm going to go off here, here, and here. Okay. That should get you pretty close to on center. Right now it's looking pretty good. That's like you're looking real good. Say it's 68. All the time, that's all. Just a little more time. That's actually pretty good there. A little bit of a... I 
I said this stuff they don't show you on camera. Sometimes this can be time consuming. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Probably about maybe a thou or so. Okay, there's that indicating. Now, this part. See under here? You gotta take his hand off because what happens is it hits underneath here. Okay, there's the washers I put. Just hold it, tighten it down, use the nut off, you know, your handle. And what you're gonna use is T handle. It's gonna be the uh it's gonna be your handle. Okay, I'll show you this in a little bit. Okay, now your tool bit, okay, probably have to move you over here a little bit to show you. Might get a little bump because uh, she's using a jack stand. It's actually my, uh, Okay, what you want to do, you want to bring this over, get you over here a little bit, okay, you see what's going on here, this tool bit here, you want to position this tool bit, okay, so it's so you have good clearance. We'll bring this up a little bit. This part's a little tricky, I think, to set up. Make sure you got enough. It's probably gonna bottom out here pretty soon. Yeah. There it is, it's bottomed out. Okay, you want to make sure your tool bit. Let's see that maybe. Okay, see that little tool bit here, you're going to make sure that this, where's my little handle up here, okay, so that clears, you also want to make sure the cylinder clears, back this up, and you turn this, make sure that clears, okay, we're going to run this in a little bit, So you're going to do a little experimenting. Back in up. Okay. Touches, okay. See this little indicator down here, if you can see it. That's going to tell you how much depth you're cutting. Like your bigger lays. They already have like a travel dial. This one don't use this as your travel dial. Okay, we'll set that at zero. It's down here. Okay, we'll call that zero. Okay, now there's going to be, uh, I know these legs here are like not made straight. Okay, here. That's how you'll know how much to cut off. Let's see, there we go. That's saying one thou out there is over here. It's actually not too bad. It's actually not bad at all. One, two, two. So it's actually this ain't too bad this cylinder. Okay? Now there's that setup. There's that little 
Una. Now this set up here, this is 660 cylinders, this might be a little more tricky, okay. And what I have here is tape, that's going to take up uh, some play there, helps indicate the part a little better, okay. You have to experiment with that, you have to find out what, uh, where you're going to put what. Might go right in, might not how this works sometimes for me anyway. Change the jaws. Right here. Okay. What's everybody doing? Yeah, it's like we got the snow from hell coming, huh? Three. These are numbered. I numbered these. Yep, snow from hell. Wait till number one clicks in. Let's see. Just good. Okay, clicks in. Perfect. Some people are gonna say, ah, oh, you left the T-wrench in. I don't have the lathe plugged in. So we're alright. We alright. You see some of the crazy stuff I seen at the machine shop. <laughs> yeah. Friggin' lathe or the chuck flew out of the damn lathe. Didn't have it tight. <laughs> Not me, somebody else. So he's gonna make sure your cam locks are tight. And one guy flipped the lathe over. He had a bar of material sticking out here. We're going to start whipping and boom! Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's get this down here. Probably going to have to take you over here because I can be able to see the indicator. Okay, there we go. Now let's see here. Get this wand in here. Of course, a little tricky sometimes. Tricky. Like I said, this is stuff uh, cylinders hitting. Stuff they don't show you on camera. A lot of guys edit this stuff out. Okay. Okay. My indicators are a little wore out. A lot of machine time. Maybe Sandy will bring me some new indicators, huh? <laughs> or maybe I've been bad. Maybe I'll get some coal. <laughs> yeah. It's actually pretty decent. Let's see. Uh... I do have an indicator, a very precise indicator with a needle. I, my needle's missing. All right, let's see here. We got. Zero. Zero. Okay. Well, sometime, let's see if it'll. I doubt this will move. Sometimes it will. I 
I get it. Yep, we gotta do, don't you? Get the old tape out. More tape, let's see. Uh, I have used the I'm gonna try that step. Piece of paper towel. Might work. Let's see, we'll try it right here. I've done it. Sometimes it works. Let's see, get this, this indicator out of here. Yeah, that thing's shot anyway, that indicator. It's, it's whooped. I, that was a freebie when I worked at the machine shop. Guys were like, hey, we're throwing it out. You want it? I go, oh, well, I'll take it. Good, huh? I said this gets a little tricky. That's why I don't. That's why I don't like using this. Okay. Let's see. Uh, can't do me much good. So we'll call this slow. It's high side. Okay. High side. So let's try this. I don't know if that's gonna work. I'll just get a piece of tape. Yep. There we go. Shimmer up a little bit. Piece of tape. Yep. It's actually pretty, not bad, huh? And pretty good there.
Yep, it's all the fun stuff. Sometimes you can wiggle it. Ah, shit. Not too bad, huh? Like I said, that's why I don't particularly like using this because it's kind of a pain in the ass, but you get the general idea what to do. Um, same thing here. This tool, make sure you clearance it. Let's see if I get this clearanced. Okay. I think this one could be good. Other thing I didn't show you, let's get this tail stock on here too. The way I do it. What I use. See this? Piece of wood. I guess. Yes. There we go. There's enough. Cross there should be good. There you go. And that's what that's what I use. Gives it a little added support. Let's see this. I said filming on camera is not always easy indicating them parts, trying to fight time here. So I gotta get going, but same thing, you gotta use this tool. You get enough clearance. Okay. So we got enough clearance. It's gonna check all that stuff. Let's back up. Okay. You gotta tighten the gibs on this a little bit so it doesn't rock. But yeah. Like they show you cutting these cylinders, but they don't they don't actually show you the setup involved. Sometimes it goes right on. Obviously, if I had a chunk of material cut to here, slide it right on, bingo, done. But I don't have that. So okay guys. Let's see yeah. Wanted to see something. Yeah, we're good. Okay guys, next time. Keep feeling the heat.